Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of time. Specifically, how we can find how long something has gone on, or find the interval of time, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So here's a sample problem. Gia has been practicing soccer for the last 45 minutes. She'll spend another half hour, so that's our other piece of time there, practicing before she goes inside. How long will she practice altogether? Well, this is pretty simply going to be an addition problem because we have 45 minutes and then we have this half hour. So we need to identify what a half hour is. So most of us probably know that an hour is 60 minutes. And so when we're talking about a half hour, we're simply talking about half of 60, or in this case, we're talking about 30. So she spends 45 minutes practicing and then another 30 minutes practicing. So we can say, well, all together she'll spend 75 minutes. And you would be correct if you wrote that. But if this were on a test, most likely you would not see the number 75 anywhere. That's because adding time is a little bit strange. It does not use the base 10 system. In the base 10 system that we use, every time you get up to 10 in a place value, it goes to the next place value over. But it's a little bit different with time because our hours are 60 minutes, not necessarily 100 minutes. So you can't add and subtract time normally as you would regular numbers. You have to either use uh, a timeline, which I'm gonna show you, or sometimes you can even just look at a clock. So let's look at a timeline right here. Let's say, that she spends 45 minutes. So we're going to say from zero and we're going to say 45 minutes. This is what she's done already. She's already practiced. And then she needs to spend another 30 minutes practicing. Well, if I just add another 30, I'm going to get up to 75. What you need to do is try to get to the next hour. So the next hour is going to be 60. Because once we hit 60, then we start our minutes over. So in regular addition, when we go to the next 10 or 100 or 1,000, we go to the next place value. In time, we're going to the next hour, in this case, the next set of 60 minutes. So how long is it between the 45 that she's already practiced and the next hour? Well, let's subtract the two, and we are going to get 15 minutes. So this is 15 minutes. So then she's going to spend the rest of that time. She's going to be spending the rest of that 30 minutes that she's been practicing. That is going to be what she's continuing to practice. That's going to be another 15 minutes. And you see what we have here is we have 15 plus 15. There's our 30. We're back up to our 75. But now we can write it a little bit differently. We're going to group all of this together because this is our first hour. And so we're gonna say one hour, and then how many minutes over that hour? 15 minutes, and that's probably what you would see on the answer key, if or the answer choices, if you were doing this on a test. Even though one hour 15 minutes is the same as 75 minutes, it's a little bit more proper to go ahead and write it as one hour 15 minutes. Let's look at another example. So here's a different problem. Larry starts studying every evening at 5.30 p.m. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and put that on our clock. So 5.30 is gonna look like this. And since it's 5.30, it's halfway through the hour, your hour hand is not gonna be pointing at five. It's gonna be halfway between five and six because it's halfway around the hour. And then he always studies for 45 minutes. So what time does he stop studying each evening? So we can use our clock here and we can imagine what would happen as this minute hand moves. And let's just go ahead and move uh, by sets of five to the right. So let's just go ahead and count. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if I get up here, another half hour would be 30 minutes. But at this point, it would be six o'clock. My hour hand would be right down here, and my minute hand would be right up there. And that's gonna be important because we're gonna need to know that we've already moved past the hour. So now it's six o'clock. So we've got 35, 40, 45. So it's going to end up at 15, but it's going to be six, 15.